Hi, I'm Sean from the team department at the Pulaski County Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make a real simple candle. All you have to do to make these candles is get some uh, wicks, and you can pick these up um, at Hobby Lobby or Walmart, uh, or even order them on Amazon. Uh, of course, you need a container to make your candle in. Um, this is a little metal tin that we ordered on Amazon. You can also use a glass jar if you'd like. Um, some scissors, a pot holder, some tape, a toothpick, a stove, and a Pyrex dish. So what we started to do to get this candle going is we actually took the wicking material here and I put it down inside of the tin just to figure out how long I need to make the wick. And that right there is probably about the right length to put in there. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure that it doesn't move while the candle dries, because this wax is very hot and will move for a little while as we pour it in, is I'm just going to tape the edges to make sure that this wick does not move while I'm pouring anything in here. So give me just a second. So now I've got the wick, I've got it standing up straight, kind of in the middle of it, so that should be good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here to my pot and just tell you a little bit about what's going over here. This is kind of like a double bore operation. And um, what we did was we filled this with water and then we placed a Pyrex dish in there. And we broke up chunks of gulf wax. And if you want to know what that looks like, I think we took a hammer and maybe chiseled this off in the past sometime. But this is what the gulf wax looks like after you chisel it. And um, we did that to make it easier to melt because if it's really big pieces, it's hard for it to melt. And it has taken a while for this to melt. I'll be honest with you, it's probably been about 15, 20 minutes here. We started off about 125 on our burner and finally had to go all the way up to 190, which is a little bit higher than they said. Um, just so you know, like all stoves are different. Um, different types of material, like this Pyrex glass, uh, has a different thickness to it. So, you know, your times may vary. There's also methods on the internet on how to actually just microwave your wax in the Pyrex uh, measuring cup. And uh, I think it just says to do it like one minute intervals, don't let it get over 80 degrees, and then heat for two minute intervals until it's completely melted. So what I'm gonna do now is pretty simple. We just grab the Pyrex cup. And you'll notice that we've got quite a bit of wax in there. And we wanna move before it sets up. So right now I'm just gonna pour it slowly in here making it about the depth of the candle I want. I think we got enough to go all the way up to the line. There we go. All right. So now that we're up to the line, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this candle sit. Um, based upon how long it's been heated, how hot it is at the moment, it may take a while for it to dry. Right now it's pretty uh, mobile. Uh, it's moving around quite a bit, so it's going to take a few minutes for that to dry. So just wait for your candle to completely uh, turn from a liquid into a solid, and then you can remove the tape and cut the wick down to the height that you need it to. All right, guys, uh, I look forward to seeing you again at the team department, and see you on the next online program next month.